everybody, it's Jamie and Ross from Tate Real Estate Realty Executive Saskatoon. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. What are we making, Ross? Today we're going to make the cucumber gin gimlet. So, okay. gin is obviously a traditional okay. uh, drink, and a gin gimlet uh, is very traditional as well. A, a gin gimlet is made basically with, you know, that uh, grenadine that, you know, yep. ready? You can also get lime, it's called lime cordial. Okay. Gin and lime cordial. That's basically a gimlet, gin okay. gimlet. So this is more work, but it's gonna be kind of a spin-off on that. So we're gonna muddle up first. Muddle uh, up. We're gonna make this for two. So we're gonna put in four slices for one drink. So eight slices of cucumber. Okay. And then we're gonna in. put in uh, two decent sprigs of Ooh. rosemary. Okay. We're gonna put in an ounce of the lime. Okay. Okay, and then an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup. In. And now we're gonna muddle this. Muddle it away. Okay. You could put in more simple syrup if you want. Jamie and I, neither of us like real sweet drinks, and so we're going with just an ounce. Some recipes call it for two ounces, but we're going, they let you sort of adjust as you want. So Jamie's gonna muddle all this up, and we're gonna strain this eventually here. And, but once he gets her all, Brush it in there, then we're gonna add our gin. Okay. For the gin, we're gonna put in four ounces. So four ounces, uh, two ounces per drink. So now, to sort of um, impress your friends, okay. we're gonna dress up the glass and add some uh, um, strips some strips of cucumber to it. Okay. I'm gonna have to add some uh, ice in here too if you don't like. I wanna cool that down. Okay, please okay. do. Okay. And I'm gonna stir that while Jamie is making uh, the strips. cucumber strips. Okay. Now it's not like we've done a lot of pre sort of planning in this game. This is the first time he's trying it. But we're going to try to get a slice that's I think a little bit thicker on the cucumber. And what that's going to do I think, you think that's thick enough? I think that's... I don't think we're really going to have a choice. It's getting close. That's about as thick as it We're going to line the glass on the inside. One more. And I think we're going to go with it. So, in the world of gins, uh, Hendrix gin is made with rosemary and cucumber. So we should have probably used a Hendrix gin, which is a really good gin. We didn't have it, so we're going with tangerine. But okay. if you're doing this and planning for it, try to find Hendrix. It's a pretty common gin, and it's. Uh, so you want me to put these inside? Yeah, the glass? Just, yeah. Line the glass. Line the glass. Okay. Yes, like that. We're going to put two strips in each. Like that. Okay. And you're gonna add some ice in here, so that'll kind of hold the cucumber in place. Okay. Just like that. Put some ice okay. in there. And we have both of these glasses. Okay. Looks fancy already. Give that another little stir. Okay. There's some of this out of the way. So now that that gin should be infused with the lime, the cucumber, and the rosemary. So this is kind of a cross between a gin martini and a gin and tonic and uh, a traditional gin gimlet. So this one's called the cucumber gin gimlet. It's a little bit of work. We're gonna. Top it off with a little sprig of rosemary. Wow, what does that look fancy? It does. A little bit of lime on there. Huh. And look now this that. is your cucumber gin gimlet. Cheers, everyone. That is super refreshing. I like that. Very herby. I like it herby. It's a very good like afternoon in the garden. It is kind of a sipper, isn't it? I like that. You may not want to chew too much on this. Uh, Get a little bit more lime. I'm glad we only put the uh, one ounce of uh, simple syrup in there because it would make it too sweet otherwise. Mm -hmm. Rosemary is nice and it is herb. Yep. Give that one a shot. The cucumber gin Give it a gin. shot. It looks real cool. It does. Cheers. And healthy for you too with that cucumber. Oh, healthy. Mm -hmm.